Not everyone has the privilege to have a free and financially independent life, but those who do are assumed to be happy as they are able to buy everything they desire and as they are expected to be able to do whatever they want and whenever they want. Mostly. But as always, things can be generalized. What is a dream for the one hand can be a nightmare for the other hand. Ryo Mikage is one of the people for whom the just described privilege has become a nightmare. Ryo didn't want to be a slave of society and follow in the footsteps of his parents and take over the company as their successor and kept looking for something, a dream, an ambition that would keep him hooked and give his life a special meaning once he has found something to strive for. And this something has become football. And since the day Ryo met Nagi and saw him controlling his phone with his foot, Ryo knew that Nagi is the key he needs to be able to fulfill his dream to become a World Cup winner one day. So Ryo kept convincing Nagi to play football with him and they both had their first test game against the Dalada High School. And they totally destroyed Dalada with a great classic Ryo and Nagi combination and beat them. And luckily Henry was there as well to observe the match for the Aomori Dalada team, but found Ryo and Nagi instead, which is the reason they got invited to Blue Lock. And this is also where Ryo officially debuted in the main story in Chapter 1 in the Blue Oak entrance as a participant in the Blue Oak entrance room. We later saw Ryo in the dining room together with Santetsu and Nagi as a member of Team V. The team that completely dominated their stratum without any problems. Doesn't matter if it was against Team X with Baru or Team Y with Nico and Okawa. So in the last match of the first selection, Ryo had to face Team Z and therefore Izagi's team and instantly put on an exclamation mark by copying Team Z's combination without any problems, which also led to the first goal of the match by Nagi. Ryo was even able to score a goal as well in the match, and during the match Ryo was the engine and leader of Team V, who commanded his team and was the perfect balance between Nagi and Santetz, due to his ability to be an all-rounder who can assist his teammates with great passes, but who is also able to score goals. Later on in the match, Ryo struggled with Raichi's man-marking and therefore was eliminated by Raichi from the match, which was the reason why Team V lost the control of the game in general and lost the match in the end. By the way, if you haven't watched my video about Raichi, who was the MVP in this match, I recommend you to watch it, the link is in the description. So after Ryo made it to his second selection, he got left by Nagi and therefore teamed up with Kunigami and Chigiri and had to face the team of Baru, Nagi and Izagi. Here Ryo was once again the perfect balance between Kunigami and Chigiri, but again lost in the end. And while his ability to be the perfect all-rounder was very useful on the one hand, he could yet be criticized for not being able to have a special weapon like all the other blue participants have. This problem was once again obvious during the 2v2 match with Kunigami and against Shido and Igarashi, where he got even outsmarted by Igarashi and his militia ability, although Ryo's skill was way better than him. Luckily for Ryo, he got picked by Shido and made it to the third selection where he teamed up with Team Z to reunite with Nagi. In the match against Team A, Ryo once again realized that Nagi was ahead of him and that he needed something. A technique that would help him to catch up to Nagi. And this is where Ryo finally awakened and introduced his copy or Chamberlain technique for the first time when he copied Yukimiya's gyro shot to score the second goal for Team Z. For the match against U20, Ryo unfortunately wasn't a starter for the team but got subbed in later and was one of the players who had a big impact on the game. Block 11 struggled to stop Shido, which is the reason Ego subbed Ryo in as a center back for Nico to regain the game's balance and stop Shido. Ryo instantly showed what he can do for the team and used his Chamberlain style to stop the Sai Shido combination by copying Aiko's snake technique. Later on, Ryo saved Block 11 from conceding a goal and used Nagi's jumping turn technique to recover it, get past Sho and Kitsune Sato and start the counter attack by passing the ball to Nagi. So, Ryo for sure, together with Hayori, was the reason why Block 11 was able to rebalance the game and overcome the insane skill and combination of Sai and Shido. Before the start of the New Eagles League, Ryo decided to go to England and therefore joined Manchin C with its mentor Chris Prince, who is the second best player in the world. Through Chris Prince's training, Ryo was able to work on his body and improve his strength and physique, which is something especially Izagi struggled at the beginning of the match between Manchin C and Bess in Munich. Ryo also improved his attacking style by developing a new mode, the so-called striker mode, that allows him not to only copy techniques from other players and focus on passing to Nagi, but also start attacks and get past defenders by himself. So Ryo in general is much more dynamic thanks to overall parameters that have improved through Chris Prince. Prince quickly realized and analyzed that Ryo would be best in center midfield because of his all-rounder stats and especially since he got Nagi in front of him, there's no one better to play with Nagi together than Ryo, who clearly has no weaknesses. 
Ryo also tries to become a fusion of the Toshi brothers, as they are the ones with the best techniques Ryo can think of when it comes to copy people and as they are the ones who can score the most goals, which is something he admires. And like in TV, Ryo once again was one of the players during the match against Bess and Munich who took control over the field and led his team. Although Ryo has improved a lot by himself and can nowadays fight without Nagi, he still assigned himself to the task to bring the best version possible out of Nagi. Nagi was struggling to find his place during the match against Bessel Munich, as he still isn't someone who likes to actively do plays, but with Rio's help, Nagi has been able to release his full potential. So what is next for Rio? Currently has an offer from Arsenal in the Premier League, which could mean that we might see Rio play for Arsenal in England once the New Eagles League is over. Furthermore, Rio has to compete with players like Karazu, Hayori, Otoya and so on for a starting spot in the centre midfield for the future Japanese national team. Alright, let me know what you think of Rio Mikage in the comments below and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.